Many years ago, before the invention of uh, immunization, so many people died of different communicable diseases. A communicable disease is there are diseases that can be transferred from one person to another, either by touching the person or by any fluid that comes from the body. And some of these communicable diseases are we have this we have chicken pox, we have the smallpox, and also we have the measles and a lot of them. So before the immunization was invented, these diseases killed a lot of people. Not until the year 19, 1796 when scientists invented the first immunization. So at that time people that accepted this immunization, they get the vaccine and they were able to live healthy and not get these diseases that are communicable diseases like smallpox at that time and also the measles. So they saw the growth of this and they keep producing more immunization. So there are so many benefits of immunization that I would like to discuss. The first benefit of immunization is immunization helps us to be healthy, especially the children. I have a beautiful daughter here. Her name is Lani. She, is, she just turned four months old uh, about a few weeks ago. So on her first day of birth, when she was giving birth, the nurses there, they gave her her first immunization. And she's been healthy since then. Also, when she turned two months old, we took her to the children's doctor. She also gave her two months old immunization shots. And also, she, when she turned four months last week, the same thing happened and she received her shots for the four months. And also, we're preparing to take her also for the other shots when she turns six months old. There's a quote I would like to read from um, the HealthWise staff. It's an organization that helps people to know about their health. So in one of your quotes, that says, that says um, immunization, also known as vaccination, help protect you from getting an infectious disease. When you get vaccinated, you help protect others as well. Vaccines are very safe. It is much safer to get vaccine than an infectious disease. That's very true. There's a popular saying that prevention is better than cure. So vaccination is like prevention. So it's better we get vaccine than waiting to get the disease and working to cure it. When we know that we have the vaccination or immunization for these diseases. So another benefit of this immunization that have been introduced is that it helps to handle outbreak of diseases. It stops outbreak of, the, outbreak of diseases in the community. A very good example I will use in this is the community, there's a community, a country known as Congo Republic in Africa. So this Congo Republic, they are facing an outbreak of the Ebola virus. The Ebola virus started in the Congo Republic so many years ago. That was the first place that Ebola virus started from. But they have their recent outbreak um, that started last year. So when this outbreak started last year, so many health workers like the World Health Organization and many other uh, health organizations, they, they made a vaccine known as the trial vaccination for Ebola fever. And they tried it. The first time they tried it, they saw that this vaccination worked. So when the outbreak started in Congo, they sent this vaccine to Congo to do more trial about it. But when it got to Congo, a lot of people rejected the vaccine, and but few received it. But because a lot of people rejected this vaccine, today the Ebola virus has risen very high. It has killed more than 1,400 people as of today, and it keeps increasing. So many people are being infected. And now, Dr. Uh, the Republic of Congo, or DR Congo as they call it, is now in Ebola. They are fighting this Ebola fever, Ebola virus fever very high now. People are very scared of that country. Now everybody is at risk because the, the fever, the virus is spreading very high. So that's why we need to accept vaccination in order to uh, reduce outbreak in the community. So there's something else I would like to talk about how vaccination, how does it work? What does it make of what, what is made of it? So immunization of vaccine contains dead virus. So this dead virus they contain when we put them into our body, when the doctors inject this into our body, the 
the vaccine that contains those dead virus create antibodies for us and also they help us to fight against diseases and they help us to protect our body from all these communicable diseases that I've mentioned earlier. So there's a quote I would like to read uh, from this Vivo Scientific. They said in their quote, vaccines against viruses are said to be made of dead virus or pathogens. Yeah, that's very true. So these things fight virus. But one sad part of vaccination or immunization is that so many people refuse to accept it. Reasons because they believe that vaccination costs or twisting. And I've made a lot of research about this to see if vaccine really costs or twisting. But from all researches I've made, I found out that this vaccine does not cause or twisting. And one of the research I would like to read is the one I got from the Center for Disease Control, known as CDC. So they said some people have had concern that. ASD or autism might be linked to the vaccine children receive. But studies have shown that there is no link between receiving vaccines and developing ASD. So there is no link between autism and vaccination. So parents, individuals, everywhere should accept this vaccination or immunization so that everybody will be healthy. They will be healthy, their family will be healthy, their community will be healthy. And also vaccine, and one of my greatest joys is that my parents, they accepted vaccination and I received almost all the vaccine I need when I was, when my parents gave birth to me. And also to today, any vaccine, like the flu shot, I always take them and they help me to stay healthy. So I invite parents everywhere. I invite adults, like I said earlier, to come and try this vaccination. It will work for them just like it worked for me and for my family. Thank you very much.